It's true, Harley-Davidson had a twin cam 103 back in 2003, but this engine wasn't exactly the same as the production version that came out in 2009. This engine had quite a bit more tricks up its sleeve than the production version in 2009 had. Guys, I had a lot of comments on my 103 video, and if you haven't seen my video about the 103 twin cam, you might want to go check it out and then come back to this one. But a lot of the comments were, Harley-Davidson had a 103 from 2003 to 2006. Now, while that's true, it wasn't exactly the same engine. And today we're going to take a look at that CVO 103, show you guys the differences in the CVO 103 versus the late model 103 that came out in 2009. So the CVO bikes have always been a way for Harley-Davidson to showcase a lot of their performance products and a lot of their aftermarket accessory products that they sell through Screaming Eagle and through the accessory catalog. There was an Evo CVO in 1999, but starting in the year 2000, Harley-Davidson introduced a CVO model with the 95-inch Screaming Eagle Edition twin cam engine. Now, the 95-inch twin cam engine was the big inch twin cam for the CVO models through the year 2002. But in 2003, Harley-Davidson introduced us to the Screaming Eagle Twin Cam 103 for the CVO line. And this Twin Cam 103 was far from stock. Harley took their standard Twin Cam 88, they added 3.9 inch stroker pistons and the 95 inch cylinders. So really nothing new there, we got another 95, but the key word there is the stroker pistons. They had the shorter skirt on them than the standard piston. But only then, Harley-Davidson took everything a step further. They took the stock four inch crank out of that 88 inch motor. They added a 4.4 inch Screaming Eagle stroker crank and flywheel. They also added the Screaming Eagle 253 cam and also the Screaming Eagle heads, the Screaming Eagle CVO heads, which had the valve springs for that 253 Screaming Eagle cam. Now this was all done on the Twin Cam 88's platform, which basically created a 103 out of a bored and stroked out Twin Cam 88. Now this all sounds really impressive. We got a stroker 88 Twin Cam. It's stroked out to a, bored and stroked out to a 103. It's got the Screaming Eagle heads, it's got the 253 cam, but where Harley-Davidson fell a little short with this motor is they really kept the compression very conservative. They kept the compression down at 9.0 to 1. But being a stroker engine, this engine produced torque, and it produced a lot of torque really fast. This engine was producing 80 foot-pounds of torque at only 2,500 RPM. 84.4 foot-pounds of torque at 4,250. We're not even really close to the red line, but that's where the torque peaked out at. And the engine saw its peak horsepower of 72.8 at 5,500 RPM. Now, keep in mind, all that is at the rear wheel. This is what's actually being put to the ground. This isn't crank horsepower figures. Now this is quite an improvement over the stock 88's 66.3 horsepower and 75 foot-pounds of torque. Now the modern twin cam introduced in 2009 for the 2010 model year, this engine used the 4 and 3 8 flywheel and crankshaft, which this was the same flywheel and crankshaft as the CVO 103. But this is where the 2009 103 differed the cases were actually bored to accept the 3 and 7 8 cylinders. And by having those cases bored, this allowed the 2009 103 to have the 4 inch internal bore cylinders to bolt on a 110 inch displacement kit. So by doing that, you didn't have to tear the motor completely down, put a stroker crank in it, then go with bigger cylinders to get that 110 inch displacement. Now, this same thing can be done on the 2003 CVO version of the 103, but what you'd have to do is you'd have to completely pull the motor apart and actually have the cases bored to accept those larger cylinders. Now the late model Twin Cam 103, it didn't have the Screaming Eagle heads and it didn't have the Screaming Eagle cam in it. It had Harley's basic standard stock cam that came in the 88, the 96, and they went ahead and put it in the 103. Now this cam had a lot less lift and duration than the Screaming Eagle 253 cam. But on the late model 103, the compression was higher. It had 9.6 to 1 compression. 
And if you watch my video on the 103, you'll see that compression makes a huge difference in the 103 engine. So the late model twin cam 103 made about 76 rear wheel horsepower and about 84 foot pounds of torque, basically the same as the CVO 103 that was introduced back in 2003. Now the late model 103 had the upgraded hydraulic cam chain tensioners, which became standard in the 2006 Dyna 88s. And that carried over into the 96 and then the 103. Now, the CVO 103, it still had the spring tensioner system in it. So now while these engines were introduced roughly six years apart, we can really see how the evolution of the 103 went from the CVO and came to be the standard production engine for all Harley models. But from 2003 to 2006, the 103 was, oh, was reserved for the CVO models only. And then in 2007, the CVO 103 was replaced by the CVO 110. And we didn't see the 103 engine at all until 2009. And in 2009, they introduced that motor for select touring bikes for the 2010 model year. And even with the 103 only being in select touring models, the 103 was still somewhat of a limited production engine. And it wasn't until the 2012 model year that the 103 actually became the standard engine across the Dyna, the Softail, and all the Touring models. So if you have an 03 to 06 CVO model that has the Twin Cam 103 in it, basically what you have is a bored and stroked out 88 inch motor. Depending on who you talk to, a lot of guys will swear up and down that that bored and stroked 88 is actually faster than the Screaming Eagle 110 engine. Now while all this is just specs and figures on paper, you can't ever really tell until you ride them both back to back or you run them head to head. That's really the only way to judge it. And now, of course, if you do have an 88 or it's already, or you've already converted your 88 to a 95 and you're wanting a little bit more, you can always tear that motor down, change out that crankshaft and flywheel, put that Screaming Eagle stroker crank in your 88. 2003 to 2006 103 was an 88 inch engine. This engine was built basically out of the Screaming Eagle catalog. All the parts that are in that CVO 103 engine you could go and buy all those right out of the catalog, put it all together, and have your own board and stroked 88 inch engine that's a 103 cubic inch. So guys, after all the comments and all the discussion we had on this 103 engine, I hope that kind of explained the difference and cleared it up. So 03 to 06 was basically a board and stroke twin cam 88 that had the Screaming Eagle heads with the heavy duty valve springs and the Screaming Eagle 253 cam, and it also had the spring tensioner system. The 2009 version, the stroker crank from the 88 was now the standard crank, and what they did was they bored the cases to allow it to accept a bolt-on displacement kit. And you also had the basically the factory cam, actually it was the same cam, that was in the 88 and the 96. Very low lift cam. And then with the standard cam, they didn't have any need to use the Screaming Eagle heads on it, so you also got the standard heads with the standard valve springs. It was really the same concept, but it was just two different paths to get there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope this cleared up a lot for you. But guys, it's starting to cool off out there. Time to break out the leathers for those early morning rides. But you guys stay safe out there, ride smart, and I'll catch y'all next week.